Another day, another disaster stream. You're fucking banned, mate. You are getting perm. You're fucking banned, mate. You are getting perm. Enjoy the perm ban, you absolute dickhead, mate. You're fucking banned, mate. You are getting perm. It happens every fucking day with multiple people. So shut your fucking mouth because you think you know shit when you don't. Shut your fucking mouth, you idiot. You're fucking banned, mate. You are getting perm. Shut your fucking mouth, you idiot. Classic. Classic. So Tiggs announced today on Discord that he's been 60 day game banned from Escape from Tarkov. It would definitely have something to do with the hundreds of viewer kits. He's taken this wipe, and the wipe before, and the wipe before. The Tig Saga just never, ever ends, and just seems to just continue, continue, and continue. Probably just never end. This guy just takes L's on the daily. He just, he's one of those people that just, just has to take an L daily. But anyway, this is the story, this is all the details. So in classic Tiggs fashion, he starts his tweet off saying he didn't take viewer kits for most of the wipe. Up until a week ago when wipe date was announced in arena and stuff, I played with Stone for a week, so we did viewer kits here and there for fun with our chat. And I also got smoked. So I'm saying Schmitty Stone got banned as well. Seems so intentional, being right before the arena test. They also said no appeal is allowed. What a company. Classic Tig's form, you know, doesn't own anything, doesn't take any ownership, you know. It's the company's fault, it's BSG's fault. They just intentionally did this to smite him, you know. <laughs> just because they just go out of their way to do that to people that play their game. You know, they don't have bigger fish to fry, like cheating and game updates and all that sort of stuff, you know. In Tiggs's mind, the, the, the game is just hyper-focused on just destroying him, <laughs> you know. He says that about me also, but, you know. See, this story goes back really, really far with me and Tiggs and my channel, you know. Everyone just seems to think I'm just this super villain that's just out preying on his demise daily. But that's not the case, you know. If, if you guys have watched my channel and you actually know the real story, you know, you're not someone that comes in and just says I'm a clout chaser and all this stuff. The truth is, I, I used to watch Tiggs a lot. I watched him a lot. And what actually happened is he started taking viewer kits and I spoke up in his chat and told him he, he, he's better than that. He doesn't need to take viewer kits to compete in competitions and tournaments. He doesn't need the handout. And he completely exploded, banned me permanently from his stream, and banned a heap of other people for speaking up as well. And now he's banned for it. So, you know, maybe you should have listened. I funneled through what? Five billion plus rubles this white man. Five bill, bro. Maybe 500... 500 mil of that was probably chat's rubles and viewer kits and shit. If that. It matters, bro? Okay. That's crazy. That's crazy. Why do you even watch my stream, bro? Like, why even come here? Why, why waste your time, man? Honestly. Go watch someone else. Yeah, but like, bro, if, you, if you're upset for me taking kits and shit and farming rubles and chat hooking me up here and there, rubles, you shouldn't watch, man. If that really, like, bothers you in my stream, then why even bother watching to begin with? You have thousands of players competing to do the same fucking challenge that you're doing, but you, Tiggs, I'm talking to you, you are cheesing the fuck out of it, ruining it not other, not only for your other streamers who are also competing, but for every other fucking Tarkov player who is trying to do the same fucking challenge. It's bullshit, bro. It is bullshit. There's no defending it. And I will perm ban you. I don't care if you're a two-year fucking sub and you've watched me for a long time. You are getting permed. You are getting permed. Okay, so wait, I'm confused. Can I, can I go, can I like run into that or no?
You're telling me six months into a wipe, most of you guys play this game don't have rubles? I'm sorry, man, but you fucking suck if that's the case. I'm sorry. Rubles are so easy to farm in this game. I'm sorry, man, but you fucking suck if that's the case. I'm sorry. But I can't wait for next wipe, man, right? I'm have a billion rubles in my stash. And people go, yo, have you got a billion rubles, man? Hell, hey, that's hey, this is impossible. It, it it looks like you can run into the th the circle. Look at his stash. Oh, it's fucking pathetic. Me. He's I literally you scraping run into that, by. Like an extraction and something happens. Okay, gentlemen, we've arrived. Tiggs has, um, Tiggs has, uh, made an attempt to, uh, strike me for copyright. So, for a long time, I've received a ton of, you know, hate from the Tarkov community for trolling and, and mocking these guys while they just flat out break the game's rules and spend their entire streams just bashing on the game you know nothing but negative things to say about the game all day while they you know they make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year like Tiggs for example he's bought a home he drives a Mustang and then gets on stream eight hours a day and just talks about how shit the game is. I've literally watched him. Guys have come into his stream saying, should I play the game? Should I buy the game? And he would just literally sit there and say, no, do not play the game or buy it. It's full of cheaters. It's fucking a bug fest. It's garbage. You know, if you sit there and do that all day, do you think the game's going to give you a chance? Do you think BSG is going to give you a chance when they see that? when you're breaking the rules they've had so much going on that, that they constantly get bashed for doing nothing about cheating which I've tried to outline in my videos that they do you know they're, they're out there dealing with that every day and fighting that every day plus they're constantly bringing us new maps new updates new stuff and on top of that they've just got these dudes streaming to thousands of people just breaking the rules it's supposed to be a hardcore game it's supposed to be hard that's what they want. That's what they want their game to be. And you got these guys just cutting, cutting corners, getting loot handed to them every day. You know, and then just bashing on the game all day. Talking hundreds of thousands of view videos saying how the game's going to die. And, you know, I'd, I'd do the same thing if I was BSG. I'd pull the plug on them too and say, well, don't play it. You know, you can't expect BSG to just keep like letting these guys play their game and just get a free ride in life you know like you know if I'm being honest um you know being that I'm you know I have a kid on the way and, and think you know I do feel bad for him like you know he's probably just lost a good chunk of his income you know and he relies on streaming this game to make a living you know I think 60 days is a bit harsh. Um, I feel like if this was the route they were going to go down, you know, maybe just like a, a week ban or a two week ban to these streamers that are breaking the rules, I think that would definitely show the player base that they are cracking down on this and this is something they, they don't want in the game, you know. They don't want loot being traded and given away and bought and they want the game to be a hardcore survival game you know they don't I think you know maybe they you know maybe 60 days maybe there's a reason they they cracked down on it this harshly was to show people that they're not they're not gonna let people get away with it you know and I feel like if you look at the guys that are doing it, there's a lot of other guys out there doing it. There's a lot of other guys out there doing it. But what I've noticed is the guys that they're cracking down on are the ones that are sitting at their fucking desk all day 
just bashing on the game and talking shit about the game, that's the ones they're cracking down on. They're not doing it to these these nicer guys that, you know, they're not just doing it to the guys that are, you know, actually talk positively about the game. They're doing it to the ones that aren't really painting a good picture for their game. You know? And that makes sense. That makes sense, because why would you help those people out? You know, like, even me, I, I, I have a really low viewership. I'm a really small channel, you know, but I, I still try and go out of my way to try and show people in my videos that they actually, you know, they're not... A, there's this opinion out there that everyone has that BSG just works hand-in-hand hand with cheaters, and that's just... that's stupid. Who would spend eight years of their life making a game to secretly hope people cheat in it? You know what I mean? And these guys are the kind of guys that just sell that narrative to people. Literally, you know, wouldn't you have a bit more respect for the game if you if you made a living off it, and, and you were able to buy a house and cars, and wouldn't you have a bit more of a better of opinion about the game, and voice that to thousands of people instead? You know, in, in my discussions with Tiggs in, in private messages, you know, he had a lot of advice to give me. A lot of advice to give me about what I should do with my content and, you know, the crazy thing is, you, n you never listen to any of my advice, Tiggs, and, which is fair enough, I'm nobody, you know, but pretty much everything I've said, it, you know, has ended up happening, bro, and you didn't listen. I, I was a viewer, like, I was a, I, I watched your content, I, I was, you know, you didn't listen, and it's a shame, you know. It's unfortunate you've lost your income, and you know you're gonna have to go and stream. I don't know. I don't know whatever whatever else you'll play. I don't think I've ever, ever seen you play another game. But you talk like Tarkov's the worst game in the world. But you know now you're gonna have to find something else to play for for 60 days. Unless you know another another shitty thing I'll also mention is that you know these guys, these other streamers, get caught cheating, literally cheating, and they just. You know, <laughs> they just go and buy a new account and the next day they're playing again. You know, I dare say Tiggs will probably just do that as well. Like, he'll probably just, you know, buy another account and just jump back on the game anyway. But the, the crazy thing is, he's going to have to literally start from level one. He can't take viewer kits, which is what he usually always does when something hard comes up. So, I, I don't think he's going to do that. He's not going to play on a level one account with nothing and not be able to take viewer kits and get no help. This, this laid him wipe. He, he won't do that. I... You know, he's going to have to find something else to play. And, you know, it's... It's probably going to hurt his viewership. It's probably going to hurt his income. And, you know... As much as people probably thought I'd be sitting here clapping and rejoicing and... You know, it's... It's never good that someone loses their income and... You know... It's not a good thing, but, you know, maybe... I don't, I don't, I don't think this is going to, you know... I don't think this is going to destroy his career or end him, you know what I mean? And and, and these other guys that... There's there's someone else that got banned as well, another streamer. There's been a couple... I, I've noticed BSG are, are cracking down on this stuff, you know? And now that they're getting closer to, you know, a game that's going to be way more diverse, it's going to have arena in it, it's going to it's going to draw more players to the game, it's going to be, soon it's going to be a finished game, you know what I mean? And all, all this negative criticism and, and negative crap that everyone has just harped on for so long and, and got away with, I, it's not going to happen anymore. It's going to be a finished game, you're going to see cheating drop right down because they're going to have nothing else to focus on anymore except for cheating once the game's finished. And you're going to see a finished, polished game that's going to have less cheaters and these guys that are just getting a free ride in life off this game while just sitting there ragging on it and just blatantly telling people not to play it. You're going to see those dudes start... They're going to, you know... It's it's not good. Like, you, you're going to see BSG start to crack down on these dudes. And, and as well as cheaters, you know? But, yeah... Um, that's pretty much the video, um, 
Yeah, I I dare say he'll go live soon and he'll give his zero remorse response and bag on BSG and, you know, or he'll just circumnavigate the ban and jump on a different account. He, there's no way, <laughs> mark my words, there's no way he's going to start his stream and say sorry and, and be remorseful and, and own his actions. He's going to start his stream, he's going to farm pity, He's going to, you know, say, he's going to go on to say how crappy BSG of a company is and, you know, all this stuff. But yet, he's not even grown enough and mature enough to sit there and realize that if it wasn't for BSG making Escape from Tarkov, he wouldn't have bought a home and all of his cars and he wouldn't have made a living playing video games for the last, you know, six, seven years or whatever it is. That's, that's the sad part, you know. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of people out there that would be really grateful for that opportunity in life. There, there really is. That's you know, and and they'd probably take it a lot more. They'd probably be a lot more grateful and, and be a lot more graceful about it.